Welcome to Organization, the second stage in the perception process. In this video, you'll learn the organization types for stage two in the perception process. Organization is the process of arranging stimuli, what you have selected to attend to, into meaningful, understandable, and convenient patterns. Organization allows you to make sense out of what you observe. There are seven types of communication organization. Figure and ground, perceptual schemes, stereotyping, punctuation, closure, proximity, and similarity. In figure and ground organization, figure is what you notice or focus on. Ground is less noticeable and serves as the background for the figure. Example, when you pick out a friend's voice in a crowd, the friend's voice becomes the figure. The other voices become the ground. Let's look at a visual example of figure and ground organization. When you see the vase in the illustration above, the vase becomes the figure and everything else becomes the ground. When you see the silhouettes, the silhouettes become the figure and everything else becomes the ground. Perpetual schemes. Perpetual schemes are systems you use to organize your impressions. The five ways to organize impressions are appearance, social roles, interaction style, psychological traits, and memberships. After choosing a scheme to classify people, you further organize your perceptions in the following ways. Stereotyping. After choosing a scheme, you place people into convenient categories. These categories can lead to exaggerated generalizations that miss the unique individual qualities of a person. Examples. Teenagers are irresponsible. Old people don't know what's happening. People who are unemployed are lazy. What generalizations do you make that lead to stereotyping? Complete the following sentences in your head. Do you stereotype people? Punctuation. In this type of organization, you determine causes and effects in interactions and then group, divide, separate, and categorize information. Example, Mary complains that Robert never helps around the house. Robert says he doesn't help around the house because Mary says he never does anything right. When Mary speaks, her perspective is punctuated. When Robert speaks, his perspective is punctuated. Closure. In this type of organization, you fill in missing information to provide structure and consistency. Example, look at the illustration on the left. What do you see? Three angles or a triangle? If you see a triangle, you filled in the missing lines. Similarity. At times, you group things together because they are similar in size, color, shape, beliefs, interests, and other attributes. Example, you might assume that a fellow student has the same point of view regarding tests as you do. Or you sit with your friends in the cafeteria because you have similar interests. And lastly, proximity, which is when you group two or more items based on how close they are to each other. If you see three pairs of parallel lines, you have grouped the lines based on proximity. Okay, let's go through a few examples. Choose the correct organization scheme. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to think about your answer. If you see the drawing on the left as resembling a letter on the right, which organization pattern did you use? 
The answer is D, similarity. Do you see a rabbit or a duck? When you select your perspective, which organization pattern are you using? The answer is A, figure and ground. You see four sets of four boxes. What organization pattern did you use? The answer is B, proximity. And finally, if you see a heart instead of irregular lines, which organization pattern did you use? The answer is C, closure. Congratulations. You have now completed the video, Organization, the second stage in the perception process. Thanks for watching.